Okay. Good morning, class. So, we will be discussing uh, globalization of religion. So, in this topic, the relationship of globalization and religion will be discussed. So, it seeks to understand how globalization affects religions of the world, the same through with how these religions respond to the process of globalization in resolving global conflict and, of course, restoring global peace. So religion has the most difficult relationship with globalism. You have to take note, my dear students, that these two, we have the religion and globalism, are entirely contrasting belief systems. So religion is considered sacred, while globalism places value on material wealth. What else? Religion follows divine commandments while globalism abides by human-made laws. Religious people are less concerned with wealth and all, all that comes along with it. So one best word to describe the religious people is ascetic. A-S-C-E-T-I-C. -E ascetic. Okay? They are ascetic because they avoid any material for complete simplicity. So from the clothes they wear, to the food they eat, and even to the manner in which they talk, ay napakasimple. For them kasi, ang kanilang main duty is to live a virtuous and sinless life because they believe that when they die, there is assurance that there is a place waiting for them in the other world or yung concept natin ng heaven or hell. For globalists naman, they are less worried about whether they will end up in heaven or hell. So for them, their skills are more monotonous as they aim to engage in trades. Ano pa? Magpataas ng profits or to improve the government revenue collections or to even protect the elites from excessive tax of the government and of course, to enrich themselves or magpayaman. Ganyan ang perspective ng mga globalists. Another additional information. Religious people are concerned with spreading of holy ideas globally. On the other hand, globalist wishes to spread goods and services. What else? The religious aspires to become a saint, while the globalist trains to be a business person. So, question. What is the relation of religion to globalization? So, first, there is the way in which globalization flattens out uh, cultural differences, erodes local customs and beliefs, and spreads a secular, capitalist way of life that is at odds with religions of all sorts. At the same time, there is the way in which religion serves as the source of globalization's uh, greatest resistance and as a haven for those in standing in opposition to its ubiquitous yet often subtle power. Okay? Therefore, if we will try to describe the relationship between religion and globalization, it is antagonistic, one of struggle and conflict. My positive side Meron din siyang negative side. Another question. When did globalization started to influence religion? So, evolving trade routes led to the colonization of the Asia, 
Africa, Central and South America. Religion became an integral part of colonization and later on globalization. So, do you guys still remember your Philippine history lesson? Particularly, uh, the coming of the Spaniards into the Philippines? What are their goals or motives in colonizing our country? As you recall, we have the term 3G. Tatlong letrang G. So, ano yung 3G? It's glory, gold, and God. I repeat, the 3G means glory, gold, and God. Meaning to say, okay, so these are the motto of the Spaniards, the 3G. First, they want glory. Meaning to say, they want fame and honor as a world power across the globe. Next is gold. They want to gain wealth. Gusto nilang magpayaman. And last G is God. They want to spread the religion, which is Christianity. So lahat namang ito ay nangyari because of opening of trade routes in different parts of the world. And religion has been a major feature in some historical conflicts and the most recent wave of terrorism. Particularly in the Middle East, yung mga war na nangyayari doon minsan na-associate siya sa religion. So, what are the impacts of globalization? So, first, it flattens cultural differences. So, what do we mean by this? I don't know if you have already heard the passage, there is unity in diversity. I think na-discuss ko na to last time. So, basically, uh, because of globalization, somehow, there is unity between a group of individuals despite of having different religions and cultures. So, ito yung isang impact ng globalization. na flattening niya yung cultural differences. Okay, next, we have uh, erodes, local customs and beliefs. We can classify this impact of globalization as a negative impact since it gradually destroys local customs and beliefs of people, especially ang mga natives. So, unti-unti nang nawawala, unti-unti nang namamata yung kanilang old customs and beliefs. And then the third, it is spread secular capitalist way of life. So, when we say secular, it denotes attitudes, activities, or other things that have no religious or spiritual basis. So, another question we have here. What is religion nowadays? So, it is no longer a set of beliefs that people arrive be reflection. What else? It is a symbolic system which carries our identity and marks out social or ethnic and other boundaries. And it marks crucial moments in the life cycle with rituals and laws. It provides powerful mechanisms for psychological and social tension. So looking around the world today, it is clear that uh, religion plays a role in many of the major conflicts going on at various levels. Furthermore, religion plays also an important role on people's lives worldwide and has become one of the major ways people connect with each other across the globe. So you have to take note that religion provides a moral compass explaining how we should act in various life situations and especially how we treat each other. Okay? So it provides guidance on how to view the world and interact with it. So ang religion it provides us belonging and a sense of community. How does globalization affect religion? 
So, globalization has affected religion in various ways. We have number one. Globalization gave rise to religious nationalism that came about after the Second World War. So, after World War II, nagkaroon tayo ng katahimikan dito sa mundo at nagdala yun ng pagtaas ng religious nationalism. For example, in the Philippines, crafting the law is sometimes anchored on the lawmakers' belief in Christianity. So, like for example, uh, Senator Manny Pacquiao, yung ginawa niyang batas. In 2018, a National Bible Day was declared as a special working holiday. Next, globalization led to the turn of religion into public life as a reaction to a post-World War II modernism. Noon, uh, tinatago natin kung ano yung paniniwala natin, tinatago natin yung ating religion, the reason of the fact that the state or sometimes yung authority may mga ipinagbabawal like pagsamba. But after World War II, nagkaroon tayo ng respect sa bawat religion and from private sphere, naging public na yung pag-worship natin sa mga gods and goddesses. And then the third one, globalization affected the proliferation of international terrorism. Actually, ito yung nakakalungkot sa part ng religion. Nagdadala siya ng peace and at the same time, conflict. For one, we have this concept called religious extremism or the extremist. So, pag sinabi mong uh, religious extremism, they, these are typical political violence anchored on the belief that a supreme being grants violence in the act of glorifying one's faith and has become a central issue faced by the global community. And these extremists believe that it is their duty to fulfill God's will through violence. I repeat, through violence. Hindi ko naman nilalahat uh, pero mostly nasa Islam, for example, is the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria or sila yung tinatawag nating ISIS. Meron kasi sa community, sa Muslim community, na meron silang ibang paniniwala or ibang pananaw on how to acquire peace. At usually dinadaan nila ito through violence. For example, in 2017, yung nangyari sa Marawi. So, the ISIS triggered the locals Mindanao to launch the Marawi siege for five months. And then the last, globalization prompted the increase of individual religio religiosity. So, it is brought about by the individual's need to rely on his or her beliefs and relationship with the supreme being. So, ganun lang siya ka-ikli yung topic nating globalization in religion. Okay? So, that ends our discussion for